Hello, if you're using Unity 3D and mirror networking, trying to build a multiplayer game, you may have run into this problem. I'll start, uh, this is two instances of my game hidden in the stars. I'll start as a host on one, the client on the other. Here on the client, everything seems to be great. We're moving our ship around. You can see because it's moving, it's the one in the background. But we go back to the host and we try to move it and the client moves camera always seems to be focused on the wrong player. So I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. Okay, I'll show you how to do this. It's quick and easy. In my hierarchy for my scene, you'll see that I'm using Cinemachine and I have CM free look one. I have one free look camera and currently the follow and look at for this free look camera is empty. So it's not following or looking at anything. So when Network Manager instantiates my player ship, the spaceship that you saw in the intro, it's going to have to assign this free look camera to it. So here we go. Let's look at that script. I'll go to my prefab for my spaceship. And you should see I have several scripts. One of them's movement. One of them's for camera control. So it really doesn't matter where you put the code that I'm getting ready to show you, as long as it's on your player object somewhere so that you can initialize the camera. I'm putting it in zoom control uh, since that already has to do with camera control. As you can see, I have a serialized field, free look camera to zoom, which is just referencing the free look one. But I have to initialize it declared at runtime because I can't in the prefab. So here we go. If we go back to the spaceship, I edit my zoom control. Here we are. Player spaceship zoom control. What we have to have, you'll have to make sure you're using mirror. You'll have to make sure you are inheriting from network behavior. Uh, you'll have to have a serialized field, of course, to assign the camera to. And what I have done in the start is the reason you needed network behavior is so that you can get access to is local player. And once you have that, you've set up this conditional statement. If is local player, we assign that one free look camera in our hierarchy to this variable, free look camera to zoom. And then you have two more lines, very simple. Since it's on this game object, free look camera to zoom, you assign the look at. Remember we had, had to assign the follow and the look at so that our camera would stay with our game object. Very easy, free look camera to zoom dot look at equals this game object transform. And then the same thing for follow. That's all it is to it. What it's actually doing is, is when the local client starts, or the host server, whichever, however setup you're using, it finally, it, it just says, if this is the local player, it finds the one free look camera and it assigns that camera to follow and look at the player object. Of course, any other objects on the screen, which are clones of the player instantiated object, will not get this. So the camera will only follow the correct player. We'll take a quick look at that. Okay, here we are back at the two instances again after we've made the correction. I'll start the host. As you can see right now, he's by himself. We'll start the client. We'll turn so now you can see that we have both chips. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. And already you can see that on this, the client, we're looking at the front ship. And on the host, we're looking at the last ship. And it will also correctly follow. Let's get this guy who moved ahead and problem fixed. I hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe, like, whatever you need to do to keep up with development of Hidden in the Stars and any future tutorials and fixes I help with. Thank you for watching.
The assets used in this video were from my new multiplayer Starship gaming development, Hidden in the Stars. If you like this video, remember to like, follow, and or subscribe at Corky Software Design on YouTube and Facebook for more tutorials, or on YouTube at the Hidden in the Stars channel for more game development info. Thanks for watching.